Hello and welcome to today's Wild Hearthstone deck tech and gameplay video on Reno Secret Hunter. Reno Secret Hunter does more or less what you would expect from the name. It wants to use a small selection of secrets that we can draw from cards like Dun Baldar Dunker, <laughs> Dun Baldar Bunker, didn't mess that up at all, and even Costume Singer. We want to draw a small selection of traps. And the only reason why I'm going to go over the traps will make sense in a moment. We have Explosive Trap, Freezing Trap, Hidden, me hidden Meaning, Ice Trap, and Snipe. Now, the reason why I picked these five secrets and are bothering to mention them now is that I believe they are the most generally well-rounded, useful secrets that are the most applicable over the widest possible number of circumstances because not only... You know, we are a Reno deck and can only run singleton copies, but also I am running the new uh, Product 9, which lets you basically recast every friendly secret that you triggered this game, which more or less functions as additional copies of those particular secrets. The reason why we don't run more secrets in the list is because you can only have up to five secrets active on any given board state so yeah you could run more secrets but then the product nine wouldn't really be terribly useful it's not a great card anyway even if you manage to meet that restriction but you know let's kind of hide that for right now so besides the secrets and the ways to draw the secrets we have payoffs for secrets kind of like I guess you could call cloaked huntress and your crossroad Crossroads Gossipers of the World, Secret Payoffs, as well as the two reasons why you'd ever run them, the two reasons why you would ever run Secret in the first place in Petting Zoo and Lesser Emerald Spellstone. These are like the the big target pieces that like make you want to run Secrets beyond just say the intrinsic, va the intrinsic value oops, of the Secrets themselves. Sometimes you can, you know, summon a board of some 3-3s. Three Unfortunately, even with the Spellstone and Petting Zoo and even a Product 9, it's one of those secrets is in a, in a rough spot, in hunt, especially in Hunter. But even then, Secret Mage, which is the only good secret list that, like, exists really, doesn't see any play. And you'll see that probably in these games. But before we get to that point, let's get to the rest of the deck tech. The other half of the list is, well, the other two halves, two parts of the list, are pretty self-explanatory. All of the cards that are Reno, or otherwise known as Singleton, or Highlander, whatever you want to call it, payoffs. All of these cards do a great job of sort of plugging the gaps and filling the holes that the the very narrow secret package can't do on its own. And even, again, if we're going to be honest, even if I weren't running a, a Reno version of this list, which I did do uh, at the beginning of testing, it's just not a terribly good... Like, Hunter's Secrets just aren't that good, nor are their payoffs. They're, like, fine at best. Though You could argue they're, like, a 3 out of 10. But, anywho, beyond the general support and glue that all of the... Uh, Reno cards provide. We do have just some generally nice cards. Cards like your 10 gallon hats or eagle horn bows or harpoon guns or even illuminator. Just more things in the in the glue card category in order to fill out the the what well, how do I word this? The gaps that are required to run not only a Reno list and be able to still meet the criteria, but also again like we talked about running the very small number of secrets in order to make sure that you're getting the most value out of a product nine. And that is the basics of the list. For the most part, you know, try and get some secrets down, some payoffs, hit the board early, get some value, translate the value into, you know, damage to our opponent. Even though the deck doesn't always succeed at that. But yeah, I can't really think about anything else that I want to talk about in this particular uh deck tech with that out of the way 
we'll go right on to game number one. But before we do, don't forget to like the video if you like it, to subscribe if you like my grab bag of content and would like to see more in the future. And if you have any sort of questions like I don't have X, what about Y, or really if you want to, say, replace whatever you think your good five secrets are with things that you think are better, you might not like hidden meanings, you might, you know, replace it for dart trap or something, or whatever secret you think are better more generally or more even more specifically to your experience on the ladder so don't get too married to the secret what individual secrets you're running anywho with all that out of the way we'll go on now to game number one and game number one with our little reno secret hunter and this is a perfectly fine list uh not list uh a perfectly fine opening hand product nine's a little weird but well yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw the Product 9 back. We're not going to be able to cast enough secrets on Curve to, like, both cast and trigger, which is an important part, to make use of the of the card anyway. Great little opener. We would love to play the Informant and Snipe on turn 2, maybe keeping it alive to turn 3 for the Gossiper, but that might not happen. But even if it doesn't happen... You know, we did get rid of a creature if it does get, or if it does get triggered anyway. Yep, it's not explosive trap. What are we coining out something? Coining out a creature? Maybe a spell? Yay! That's fine. We'll do that. That will allow me to keep my dude. Truck. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will go ahead and play the Gossiper, because I don't think we're going to get a, a cleaner chance to, like, use it. Now, they could order, depending on how they order their turn, they could just, like, trade into it before they summon it, and that's fine. This is one of those, just having to make our opponent make decisions just increases the odds that they're going to make a bad one. It's not a, a terribly complicated game plan. That's fine, maybe there are... S so maybe there's some sort of Barrel of Sludge kind of Warlock, which I have done on the channel. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and dig around on the channel and you'll find it eventually. In the meantime, play the Bunker from a Rathy Basin, or not, uh, Ultrac Valley, <laughs> which I have no real experience with. One, being horrid all my life, and two, not super messing with PvP. <laughs> so that's why I butchered the name, because I have no attachment to this place. Anywho. See what we're gonna do. Do have an ice trap. Nice little aim shot for some interaction. Well, nice as a, as a relative word. It's a fine card for interaction, given the whole Reno uh, deck building constraints that are placed on us. Cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Ah. Uh, Yes. Now, if we're being honest, Freezing Trap will save us the most life, and that's what we're trying to do. In that case, we're just going to get rid of whatever bodies we can in an attempt to try and stall to... Not only to stall in the abstract, but to stall using our Reno Jackson for as long as we can, since we only get one use out of it. Perks of having some of the secrets in our hand, though, is that we can use the Illuminator to gain some more life. Again, just ways to try and, you know, try and wait and stall and try and push over. But this is one of those, this is a really good example of, like, the deck is doing all the right things. We're drawing our secrets, we're playing them, we got some synergy, we're fighting for the board. Doing all the right things on paper, and the deck is still struggling. It's not that it can't work, but without the, re well... The deck mechanically works and does what it says it's doing on the tin. But if it didn't have the Reno cards, then it just the deck doesn't work anymore. It's just not that, that time anymore. In the meantime, play some secrets, gain some life. I don't think I just die, right? Six, nine, nine, twelve, gaining four, going to sixteen. We are alive. 
maybe we don't die with any luck. There's an argument to be said that we could have played the Reno, but again, we're just trying to stall for as long as we can. They could have a soul fire or something weird. Or another one of those symphonies. I think one is like a, a hellfire style effect. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. That's fine. I mean, we are a thousand percent going to play the Reno Jackson now. I think truly regardless of what I draw. Drawing a dude. Perfectly fine. And like, yeah, I gave myself the out in case we need to draw something, but yeah, nothing is going to be better than just playing a Reno. And in this case, we're going to play the Explosive Trap. Probably not going to get much more than a kill than maybe the the Bored Doom Lord. But, you know, getting rid of a thing is getting rid of a thing. That's pretty good. Got rid of the six uh, attack do the, the Doom Lord. We do have a Reno Lone Ranger if their board gets, like, really even more scary than it kind of already is. But if they're trading, that's damage not going to my face. So we'll take that. Ooh. That's fine. Again, Ice Trap being one of those, like, generally good effects. It's nothing to write home about, but it's fine. In that case, yeah. We're just gonna, it doesn't matter what we hit, they're all three attack. And this is another one of those, like... Sadly, you have to be holding the Spellstone for the Spellstone to upgrade. But as a result, like, there are moments like this. I've played all my secrets, I've done the thing, and now it's just a 5-mana 6-6. Six, six. Even when you can get, like, a 5-mana, uh, what's it, like a 12-12 all the way upgraded. It's still just a pile of stats that doesn't impact the board in any way at all. Like, I want it to be good. It's just it's just not there. Again, the only reason why we're alive is because we have the Reno cards. And, like, we're gonna, we, you know, we're gonna buy ourselves a couple more turns by having a Reno Lone Ranger. Which is nice, but really this is more of a commentary on the strength, or this deck is more of a commentary on the strength of the, like, Reno Singleton cards than it is any sort of glowing endorsement of, like, Hunter secrets and their payoffs and their like, uh, well, I'm gonna say ramp tools or like, but their cost reduction tools. It's because the the Reno cards are good. That's the only reason why. For God, he had barrels of sludge in his deck. I don't think there's. I mean, yeah, there's not a whole lot we do here that keeps us alive. Uh, okay, we can get rid of that. Well, that's not useful. Uh, in that case, I guess we'll just do... Yeah, I guess a Huntress, even though it doesn't matter. Yes, I know. We it, or, it, Before somebody's like, order lull. Yes, but we wouldn't have been able to draw the Dragon Bane if we hadn't have used a hero power. And there's a real chance they just play another one of those... I think it's, what, Chaos Creation is the name of that card? Yeah. They could just play another Chaos Creation and just we just die. Okay, they're doing things. They have summoned a big boy, so that is something. I don't think they have any more snake oil. Oh, not snake oil. Barrels of sludge in the deck. And well, they got rid of the other... Okay, that helps. In that case, I guess we can do a tracking. Maybe find something useful. And not. That's nice. Um, I guess then... I guess we get rid of, using the Arcane Bullet, the Salesman. See what hits where. That might have been the worst outcome. I, okay. Again, in that case, I guess we'll howl and hope we find something. Oh boy. Got a petting zoo. Can we just die? Yeah, we just die. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, the actual worst outcome was going to their face. Okay, yeah, we'll play. And this is a, a perfect example of... Again, I talked about it before, but I'm going to really hammer this point home because you're going to see in the little write-up down below, this is one of those few decks that I would not recommend you play. I, I just... It's 
secrets in Hunter, secrets in all of Hearthstone, you don't see play in Wild anymore. It's not like where you would see a secret mage with like some degree of reliability, and you never, even then, you never saw anything beyond uh, a secret mage. So like even then, secrets in other classes were just in a terrible, terrible place. They're a fun concept, but Hearthstone is just not a game designed with interaction. And it just, even when it tries interaction on your opponent's turn, it just, it's never going to be as, like, good or responsive as, like, a magic response system of, like, instants and sorceries and, you know, abilities on the stack and all that. And But I, I appreciate them trying. And even nowadays, if we're going to be entirely honest, the only secret that sees play is Ice Block, and that's just because Ice Block lets you do goofy shit with like combos that you can't really do otherwise but it's not because it's like secrets are good you just have one insane outlier anywho we'll let out of the way we will go on to game number two and game number two with our little reno secret hunter and it's perfectly fine opening hand things to do on curve and, you know, various choices for interaction, both from whatever secrets we happen to draw, as well as just a deadly shot and dragon bane can deal with opposing boards. If they aren't some, like, try and kill you in one turn kind of thing. Which is possible. Mage seems to be, like, very prone to doing that. Nothing wrong with that. Anywho, uh, go ahead and play the Phase Stalker, since it's just the biggest body and will largely achieve the same thing as a mad scientist, arguably more if we get more than one hero power out of it. That's a perfect example. If we would have played the mad scientist, would have just got removed there. Although, now that I think about it, before uh, any, in, in theory, comment sort of beats me to it, I do see how... Cards like Phase Stalker and Mad Scientist could be considered like non bows or non synergies with like your spell stones since they aren't played, they are just like put into play or they're cast from your deck, however you want to word it. But once you're again doing a Reno deck, any amount of secret payoff you can get is just good enough that you kind of have to take what you can get. Anywho, hero power and then we bonk. No point in hoping whatever we get secret-wise, in this case Freezing Trap, is what we get. Opponent will, if nothing else, will likely just ping down the Phase Stalker, which is fine. Will likely just drop a Dragon Bane. Just a big scary thing that can really apply some pressure if left, like, unanswered. Though I'd be very surprised if our opponent doesn't have any answers. Although their deck hasn't really told me, like, anything, like, di like, distinguishing about itself. And it certainly won't if my opponent is AFK. Hopefully they aren't, but while we have a free moment, if they are AFK, I will, you'll likely see a cut here, or in the next minute or so, to where they either come back, or you'll just never see, well, they, well they'll come back and we'll continue the game, or if they never do, you'll just never see this video. Or not this video, but this particular bit of recording. Come on, opponent. Are we here? There we go. Okay, I'm not going to bother to cut like 20 seconds. Ooh. I think he's going to be upset when he... I... Hmm... I'm not gonna, you know, yeah, we'll just, we're gonna aim shot, get rid of it, and just get more damage with the fa with the face stalker in. I was convinced that they were gonna try and uh, ping down the face stalker, but they did not. But I understand why they didn't. They were gonna play the trickster and just sort of hope that like it got rid of it. And to be fair, it's not a bad hope on our opponent's part. They just didn't get lucky. All right, opponent. I understand. Again, if they go AFK for a really long time, they go AFK for a long time. You'll see a cut, etc., etc. But they're here, so we're good. 
Okay, they just appear, and again, their deck has told me actually nothing about what their deck is. It's just a mage deck with cards in it, which is fine. Now we'll do the dragon thing. Probably will get answered, but again, if they if they answer it, that's fine. We got to make them use the answers they have, as it is anyway. That's that's fine. It's interesting, but fine. Just gotta deadly shot that out of the way. Go hero power and again put some pressure on our, on our opponent's life total. One of the perks of a dragon bane is that it doesn't need to attack. It can also just you know be frozen and you know still ping off stuff here and there. Although he does have the miniaturized version of the skater. So we're probably going to have a very similar turn next turn. But that's fine. Oh, fuck me, was it elemental? Very nice. They're running weird elementals. So like, maybe it's like a like a Reno elemental. Since Zephyrus is an elemental, it wouldn't be the most surprising. Uh, I'm actually I'm not going to hero power this turn, weirdly. Yeah, I'm just going to take a good explosive shot. Well, we can get one. They can play... If they play another Tainted Remnant, then we know that they're not Reno. Or the odds are they aren't Reno. It's not strictly impossible. But if they are Reno, they can't play another one. So we do have a little bit of breathing room on that part. And that would explain that weird elemental that did the three damage twice, whatever the, the thing he was he coined out earlier. That's fine. I'm going to count that as a two for one, even though you can argue that it isn't technically, but that's fine. We actually have two secrets to cast, which will turn our Spellstone online. It's not what I expected, but we'll happily take it. Ten-gallon hat, see what we draw. That would have been nice to have, but oh well. In that case, just play the Scientist. If nothing else, it's just a, a bear. It's a two-mana two-two that can apply some pressure. If a lot of our secrets remain intact, which I'd be very surprised if it does, we will play the Gossiper next turn. Is there a snipe in here? There isn't. Fair enough. And yeah, we weren't we weren't gonna get all of our secrets still being active for the Gossiper. Just would be silly to assume that. And we actually might as well play the petting zoo now that it'll actually be a nine nine worth of stats. And for the rest, we just go face. Very rarely do we actually have moments like this where we're going to get both of our, like, secret payoffs operating on, like, anything remotely, like, remote to good, if that makes sense. So this is one of those, just take the win and, like, try and apply some damage. I... Oh, I was going to say, I didn't know... Well, do I care... Five, eight, eleven, fourteen. Fourteen. I would do Savage Roar. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six. If I were to do... What's the most damage here? Let me... Just play the Zephyrus anyway. I think it... Is it Savage Roar? Or Bloodlust? So if it's Bloodlust... Okay, if Bloodlust 7 and 3 is 10. 10, 13, 13, 16, 16, 19, 22... 25, 25, lethal? So I think it's Bloodlust. Showing that sometimes, you know, the deck, I give it a lot of shit and I probably won't update it, but, you know, sometimes you do get games like this where it does work. Although, I will argue that it worked because you got we got lucky and drew both of our secret payoffs and they were both pretty big. 
in, in reality, you can even make a further argument that those were only good because we had Zephyrus and Zephyrus gave us the ability to do lethal. The deck is and does technically function and, and technically and mechanically function. It's a deck that works, it has some synergies, it can get you wins if you like secrets and you like Hunter. But if you're looking for like a good deck that's like a pretty safe craft, that'll like get you a good amount of mileage before you have to like worry about making a new one or like spending your dust on another one, I still maintain that this deck is not the way to go. That being said, if you want to build like and spend your dust on the Reno cards themselves, that is a fantastic investment. Reno, all those Ringo, Reno Singleton cards are really fantastic, and there are like loads of lists that like will use them. You'll get a lot of good mileage out of them. So really, while this deck might not be the greatest show, this deck and video might not be the greatest showcase for secret hunter in a way it's a another you know, good show off that the reno cards are fantastic and can take a deck like this that for the first little shy of a week of testing where i did where it wasn't a reno list the deck was way 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 worst so this deck in this video does nothing if, if it does nothing but show that you can take a mediocre kind of average or I would argue, in my experience, below average in the current meta deck, like a Secret Hunter, and elevate it to like a 5 or a 6, just through the through the sheer strength and power of all the Reno cards. And I really think it's only, as time goes on, we're going to get more Reno cards. Because they're just, they're really popular, they're really good, and they're really good mileage. And I do have a fear that, and this isn't necessarily the case now, but I could see the argument in the future that if we get more reno cards or the more reno cards we get the less diverse the deck building is going to get because you're going to have this really core package of really really good cards that can effectively be run in most if not all decks anywho that all out of the way i would normally do a third game but i am a little time constrained today and the two games we've done do show the decks at its highs and its lows when it works and when it doesn't work even if my overall opinion as you will see again in the description below in the little tiny baby write-up i do even though the deck will likely not be revisited in the future or if it does it'll be a long time and i'll be scraping the bottom of the barrel for deck ideas when it does anywho all of that out of the way thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you like it Subscribe if you like my grab bag of content and would like to see more in the future. And if you have any sort of questions like I don't have X, what about Y, or other generally nice and or constructive comments, I'll do what I can to respond to what I see. Thank you all so much. And I know I've been saying this a lot because I tend to do in the summer, but really stay cool out there because, my God, it's getting hot as hell outside to the point where, like, don't be outside for any longer than you have to be. Anywho, bye bye